In Portland, Oregon, police are conducting special operations. Their mission, track down stolen cars and arrest those responsible. Through the intersection, just collided. In recent years, Portland, like many cities across the country, has seen an increase in the number of stolen cars. On average, a vehicle is ripped off every 48 minutes in Portland. Not only does that stolen car create a real headache for the owner, but officers say stolen vehicles are often connected to other crimes. Adding to the problem? Through the red, just got tagged by another car. Five, the bad seven, guys often elude police. Fremont, still continuing westbound on Fremont. So to help tackle this growing issue, Portland police turn to data science in the same way sports teams use analytics and companies optimize performance. It's a process, and that's what we're learning here, is how, how to use our data in a process that helps us um, do better work with, with less resources. Portland police created special stolen vehicle operations. The idea is to flood an area with police, along with an airplane above, to make traffic stops and arrests. And to some degree, it worked. But officers knew there had to be a better way. So they turned to the data. The idea was to find out how veteran officers identified stolen vehicles, then translate that into a formula that could help others working these special missions. Officers started tracking elements that were present on every stop of a stolen vehicle. In all, nearly 100 factors were put into a database and analyzed. These included physical characteristics of the vehicle and vehicle driving behavior. Importantly, nothing about the driver's racial profile. These elements are called enrichment factors, essentially hallmarks of a stolen vehicle. For example, a missing license plate, a broken window, no lights, and abnormal lane changes. As the theory goes, the more enrichment factors, the more likely it's a stolen car. So when we look at a vehicle like this, you look at the fact that there's no plates on the vehicle. Their driving was uh, erratic. It was inappropriate. So that's also another factor that um, made them realize it. And then when they tried to initiate a traffic stop on it, it ran. It eluded. Right. And so, stolen car. And, and it all also, kind of adds up. Correct. Correct. And then the driver also has a warrant for his arrest. To better understand the numbers, Portland police turned to an unlikely partner, cancer researchers at Oregon Health Sciences University, who specialize in big data. After almost a year in practice, the data science appears to be helping officers work more effectively. Previously, officers at Portland's East Precinct recovered one stolen vehicle for every 31 stops. Now, they're recovering one stolen vehicle for every five stops. We're being asked to do more, uh, better with less, and uh, working smarter. Police in Portland, Oregon, hope that data science can help break this cycle of stolen vehicles and lead to new ways of policing in the future. Kyle Aboshi for NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.